At her first public press conference, the new Uganda Investment Authority Executive Director promised a wind of change. However, for an institution that has for long been dogged by policy constraints since 2001, her job is clearly cut out. These challenges mean what I know. The complaints are coming from uh, investors, yes, and it's all about services. Services, yes, corruption can come. I hear someone mentioning corruption, but it comes from that gap of inefficiency. And for now, the absence of an investment policy which guides the operations of the Ghana Investment Authority as an institution may be standing in the way of progress, at least until government fast tracks the amendment of the Investment Code Act. So we have taken our mandate as a board to overhaul the act, to address some of the policy and strategic direction uh, constraints that the organization has gone through before we came on board. And part of that also includes commitment of government, as the chair has said, the investment code uh, amendment, which has been stagnant for the last 10 years, has just recently been passed by cabinet. So that's on its way of being amended. The new executive director also pledges to follow up on numerous complaints concerning land for investment, especially for industry parks. Whoever has a complaint, we need to hear. We need to, be, to listen and then see how we can handle so let it go out that whoever has any complaint concerning land issues, concerning anything to do with investments, we are ready to listen and to see how we can be able to serve you very well. Private people who claim they used to have trees uh, within the industrial park area that we now control over, others claim old land titles. Uh, some of these matters we have referred to court, uh, whereas others have been adjudicated uh, uh, through arbitration. The former Ghana Investment Executive Directors since 2092 include George Ragumia from 1992 to 1997, Dr. Magichigozi from 2000 to 2011, Engineer Frank Seboa from 2012 to 2016.